Yo, 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 what is up everybody? How is it going? Clyde here, and today is episode 8. I am stinking excited because we're going to make the ink shop today, and I'm also hoping that we can get an iron golden farm, an iron farm, because we're going to need some iron. we got to get some beacons soon and to fill out all our beacons. We're going to want a bunch of iron, you guys, and as you can probably see behind me, we got our squid farm, and Oh baby, is this thing working you guys? It's insane. Oh my gosh, it's backing up and stuff. Um, it's it's full. This is insane you guys. The ink shop is going to be insane because the squid farm is just popping off. So I went out to a gravelly hills biome. I got a bunch of gravel and I got some sand. I made some black concrete powder. I'm thinking we can make like a pixel art of like an actual ink sack. I think that'd be a cool looking shop. So we'll give it our best and let's uh, let's go build the ink shop guys. Alright guys, so I just finished up with the little ink sack pixel art. I think it looks pretty good. It's not bad. I could have got terracotta for this top part, but I wasn't willing to go out of my way to get some terracotta for just a little bit of detail. I think it looks pretty good. It's definitely identifiable as an ink sack. So I'm going to go grab some of our ink and we can throw the chests right down here and our shop will be up, you guys. There we go, everyone. The ink shop is fully stocked. One diamond for 48 ink sacks. I think that's a pretty good deal because normally it's pretty difficult to find that many ink sacks just by going around and killing squids in rivers or oceans. So this is going to be great for everyone who wants to trade with their villagers, get loads of diamonds. Um, and I really think the shop's looking great so far, guys. Let's go build an iron farm. All right, everyone, we are going to build an iron farm. We need three villagers. Shouldn't be too hard. We have loads of them downstairs, so I'll probably just get a ton of books from one of them, and we'll just transport them up there. So I'm thinking that we can kind of build it up in the sky. Um, we have to build this, I think, probably 20 or so blocks off the ground just so that when the iron golems are spawned, they don't spawn on the actual grass. So, And they will, I think I'll actually have a pretty big drop shoot, and we'll just catch the iron right here. And we all have tons of iron, guys. So I'm going to set up the layout of the spawning platform. We're going to have to get a zombie up there as well. And let's do this, guys. There we go guys, I got our zombie up here that took a little bit longer than I expected to. And he's just chilling down there, I believe I got the name tag right here, so I'm going to sauce that on him so he doesn't despawn. Boom! There we go you guys, looking good. We gotta get our villagers now.
the villagers going? Yo, what's going He's on? in! Our first villager is up here. He's got his workstation. He's got his bed. It's looking great. So we got to move these rails up to those two over there. And we just need two more villagers. And then we can add the killing chamber for the iron golems. Alright, we got our second villager. Let's send him on his way. There he goes. Oh, he hit another minecart. Sorry. Oh, he's zooming back. Let's try that again. There we go. Now he's flying. Holy cow, I can't even keep up with him. He's going like mad. Alright, he should drop right in there, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go have a look. And he did. He made it. Perfecto, you guys. Our second villager is looking good. We gotta get our next villager to that area right there. So let's do it. Let's get him in there. Oh, we hopped right in. Perfecto. Let's send him up. He's going. Looking good, and we should be able to see him just drop right on in there. Come on. Awesome sauce. That's our last one, you guys. That was nice and easy. So, just a few more steps before this farm is all finished off. And this is a great sign, you guys. All my villagers have went into their beds, and I think that means that they have correctly been allocated to their new workspaces. We are now in the final few steps of finishing off this farm. We just need to put some water up at the top. And oh boy, look at this guy. Came out of nowhere. And put our lava chamber down here at the bottom. And then we are finished guys and we should be getting loads of iron.
there we go guys the lava blade is looking fantastic and the drop shoot is looking even better the final thing that we need to do is make sure that the villagers can actually see the zombie because right now they cannot actually see him. That was intentional so that it wouldn't spawn iron golems while I was building the farm which might get kind of annoying. But now we can do it you guys. I'm going to go ahead and break these blocks right there. That villager is going to start freaking out like mad. This villager is going to do the same and this is going to be the last one guys. There we go. They all can see the zombie now we got to break all these blocks to ensure oh my gosh that's our first iron golem you guys let's go baby it's working like a charm already that is fantastic and holy cow that was insanely fast we just got to clear out all of this cobblestone to make sure that the iron golems don't accidentally spawn because these are spawnable blocks but if we move them well out of the way then the villagers won't attempt to spawn an iron golem down here and he will always spawn on top of the water platform so guys that is probably going to do it for today's episode we got the ink shop going our squid farm is looking great and we just got the iron golem farm up and running we're going to have iron now guys i am pumped because if we go see how much iron we have right now it is not a lot let's take a look we actually don't have any we have just the 38 that's in my inventory so we needed this iron farm so badly boom there we go there's another one i am hyped you guys this farm is looking sweet. We can make a little, um, make some, you know, aesthetic improvements. Because right now it doesn't look so great. But the functionality looks fantastic. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am hyped at this work. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure to slam that like button and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Peace out, everybody. See ya.